Have you ever wondered why aeroplanes fly so high? There are many good reasons for it. Avoiding bad weather below and increasing safety when high in the sky are just two important reasons. But the reason we'll focus on here is speed. This is the formula for lift. Let's break it down into individual elements. CL is the coefficient of lift, which represents the wing's ability to generate lift. Half rho v squared represents the kinetic energy of the relative airflow. This also represents the indicated airspeed, which is the speed pilots read when they look at the airspeed indicator in the cockpit. Rho stands for air density, V stands for velocity, and this represents the true airspeed. Unlike indicated airspeed, true airspeed is the actual speed the aeroplane flies through the air. S is the surface area of the wing. From takeoff to landing, the elements of the lift formula change continuously. But let's assume for a moment that lift, the coefficient of lift, and the wing surface area are constant, and see what happens to the airspeed as the aeroplane climbs up in the atmosphere. As the aeroplane climbs up, the value of rho reduces because the air density reduces. The lift formula must remain balanced. So as rho reduces, the value for true airspeed increases. True airspeed is higher than indicated airspeed. So when pilots look at the airspeed indicator and choose to fly the aeroplane at a certain indicated airspeed, the true airspeed is always greater the higher they are. This is good for efficiency. When the wind is considered, true airspeed becomes ground speed, which is the speed from origin to the destination.